Hey guys, we're going to do half of this video today. Um, if you go on live with me, we will finish it. If you don't make it to the live, then you'll have to wait until later on this week for me to upload the other half. But we're going to keep on working on equivalent fractions. Uh, we are not ready to move forward. So we're going to do some extra work this week. Please pay attention as we begin. Hey. Thanks for tuning in to our special live message Bake Star show. Sounds excellent, boss. How does it work? Viewers send in live food requests during the show. I'll make them, bake them, and then the customers can come in and take them. You know what they say, the customer is always right. Ooh, look, our first message. Factor writes in, hey mate, how about whipping up a coconut cream bar? See, this will be simple. One coconut cream bar coming right. Whoa, hold up, boss. Max just sent another message. She writes, Yucky, hon. You know I don't like coconut. Can part of the bar be cherry? Okay, no biggie. Let's get started on a cocoa cherry creamy dream snack bar. Let's see what they do. Before we make anything, I want to make sure we get it right for our customers. I'm very visual, so I cut a strip to represent our creamy dream snack bar. See, part of the bar is cherry. That part is shaded pink. And part of it is coconut. Does this look right? Let's think about it. What fraction of the snack bar is cherry? Type the fraction, then click done. Well, we have two parts, so I know that that's two, because there's two parts. And she said that only this part is cherry, so that's one, right? So it's one half of the bar. Bingo! The snack bar is divided into two equal pieces, so each piece is one half. That means one half of the snack bar is cherry. Yep. And then this one half is coconut. Okay, let's get cooking. One creamy dream snack bar, one half cherry. One half coconut. Uh oh, another message. Vec writes in, Sorry for the trouble, mate, but Luna and Jaina just walked in. Luna likes cherry, and Jaina likes coconut. Now what? No worries, Jakers. We're still making the same treat, but we need to create equal pieces for four friends to share. Exactly. Look at the strip of paper. I can fold it in half to show that one half of the snack bar is cherry. But what if we want to show more equal pieces? I can fold it in half again. Now when we open it up, we see there's another fraction that names one half. There we go. What is another fraction that tells how much of the snack bar is cherry? Well, now that they fold it in different parts, how many equal parts do we have? We have two cherry and two coconut. Two plus two is four. So there's four total pieces. But how many are cherry? I only see two here, so two. Exactly. One half and two fourths name the same amount. They are equivalent fractions. Yep. We can say that one half equals two fourths. Perfect. Take a look, see, at Luna's message. What's up, big stars? Hey, my whole b-ball team came over, and we want in on this creamy dream snack bar. Can you make sure it's equal parts cherry and coconut? Easy peasy. Let's break out our snack bar picture. If we fold, fold it, it again, we can divide the snack bar into even more pieces. Check it out. The pieces keep getting smaller, so we need more of them mm -hmm. to name the same amount. Look at the snack bar now. What is another fraction that names the same amount as one half? Well, remember we said that this is all one and this is all one, right? This was one half. This is one half cherry, one half coconut. So how many equal parts are there now when they folded it that extra time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. And how many are cherry? One, two, three, four. So that means that one half is the same as four eighths. That's right. So one half and four equals four eighths 
They're both equivalent fractions. They're just cut into smaller slices. Bam! The Cocoa Cherry Creamy Dream Snack Bar is finished. And I jumbo-sized it. Come pick it up whenever you're ready. Now who's next? I'm getting the hang of this. Look, Boo sent a message. This math is making my mouth water. I couldn't help but notice that a number line might come in handy when figuring out your baking requirements. Huh? What does he mean? I think I'm picking up what he's dropping down. We're going to pause right there and leave the rest for later.